as how to prepare for Ramadan and to make this Ramadan, hopefully your best Ramadan, inshallah we'll have an entire session or even sessions talking about it, no problem. But for now, in advance, because I've been around, I've been presenting this program for like 20 years now, okay? I want to tell you one thing. I can predict the kind of questions which I will be receiving, especially one week after Ramadan. Sheikh, I pay my zakah in Ramadan, but I haven't paid my zakah yet. Why not? Because I did not calculate how much I owe. I'm busy. I'm expecting somebody to come. I'm thinking to postpone it. Listen up. First of all, the, the due date of the payment of zakah is not determined by you for the sake of like, you know, since Ramadan is a good time, let me pay my zakah in Ramadan. The word in Ramadan means 30 days or 29 days. This is not the way we pay our zakah, brothers and sisters. This is not the way we pay our zakah. If zakah is due on the first of Ramadan, please, first, second, third, fourth, one week, okay, you finish the payment of zakah. You don't keep the zakah with you for a whole month and say, I'm distributing it. I was making my calculations. Do your calculation, get ready before Ramadan in advance. If you pay zakah on jewelry, weigh them, how much I have, how much are the word. Uh, if you, if, if somebody owes you money, calculate how much, if you're expecting somebody, profits, uh, shares, stocks, um, uh, investment, saving, add up all of that and say, MashaAllah, I have 50K already. All of what I have, whether the saving or the investment or the stock shares or, you know, I'm in a, in a partnership with somebody else or I give somebody a loan, it's your money you pay zakah on it though. As long as the debtor recognizes that he owes you so much money and he's planning to pay you, alhamdulillah. In this case, you wait until it is the time and you're ready to make the payment. You can either give it to a non-profit organization all at once and say, Alhamdulillah, they will take care of it. Trustworthy organization though, or individuals. Or MashaAllah, if you are capable to dispense the zakah money on your own, that is even better. Especially each and every one of us have family members, extended family members who may be poor and in need and paying the zakah for them is even better and more worthy than paying the zakah to strangers. When a man asked the Prophet Sallallahu about the payment of zakah, to the relatives he says it's double reward. The reward for giving the zakah and another reward for upholding the ties of kinship. And that applies to the voluntary charity and to the mandatory zakah as well, brothers and sisters. 